So today is a big day for Diddy when it comes to the courts. November 4th, guys, is a big day. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are ordering well today. Back at again with another video. Daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this video. It is a quick intro. So tomorrow, well today, November the 4th, is the day that a lot of us have been waiting for because Diddy is going to appear before a three-way judge panel who will determine if you will get bail or not. So I do would like to know what you guys think about this. Of course, I'm going to be monitoring this conversation and we're going to have this conversation later on today whenever everything takes place but basically we're going to find out if this man is going to be denied or accepted whilst his lawyers are also asking for a gag order i bought another one i don't think it'll be accepted because since the last denial there's been so many new fresh allegations accusations lawsuits whatever you want to call it that have all been dropped so today's a big way big day sorry because we've got a three-way judge panel that are coming to discuss this it's not just one judge now it's going to be three who knows what might take space but if he gets this bail it's going to be big news and everybody's going to be discussing it and glad that he's temporarily out which is definitely what he needs for his mental health and for him to prep for stuff but i do worry for the alleged victims that have come forth i also believe that if he was granted bail we're not going to be seeing a lot more of these lawsuits come through now they're definitely going to be dropping the rate is going to be slowing down but today's a big day for Diddy and we're going to monitor what goes on if he's going to be denied bail at this point for the 78th time so an intriguing an intriguing sorry um i feel like i can't speak when i have a microphone um a intriguing article on beyonce has come out via radar online um where basically they're stating from sources that they have collected that Beyonce is terrified that Jay-Z is going to be exposed and as being um, complicit in this, or at least knowledgeable of Diddy's dirty deeds. She has friends saying she could not only distance herself from Jay, but leave him altogether if things get too hot. The high profile appeared to shrink from the spotlight after federal agents raided Diddy's digs in LA and Miami. Combs has pleaded not guilty and if convicted the battle records will be locked away for life. Now sources say the sprawling investigations threatens to expose Diddy's close associates who may have been caught converting on camera. Hard Not Life rapper Jay-Z who made a fortune with the Rock Nation Entertainment Empire has frequently collaborated with Diddy as we have seen. And now the insider said Jay-Z and Beyonce have been able to keep their marriage together despite his admitted infidelities and shady friendships they've kept an uneasy peace for the sake of three kids but this is becoming a bridge that is too far i think jay is huddling up with his attorneys in case something comes his way shared former new york police detective Derek parker who goes by the online handle hip-hop cop Jay-Z has ordered his lawyers to go after anyone trying to lump him in with the Diddy and false accusations. That's why he threatened to sue Pierce Morgan. But sources suggested that might not be enough to save his marriage. A rep for Beyonce and her man insisted talk of marriage trouble is untrue and blamed internet trolls. But a source added Beyonce believes a squeaky clean image will become collateral damage. People around her are urging her to cut and run. She's better off without him personally and professionally. Now, I don't know how true this is, but this is basically an insider that is basically leaking information, I would imagine, to Radar Online. And it is Radar Online. They're not the best when it comes to credibility, but we all can agree that Jay-Z and, and um, Diddy have a great friendship. Rock Nation Brunch is an absolute example, which is why 50 Cent recently just came out and said, where's Jay-Z? There's no more brunches anymore. Like, what's going on with him? Don't worry, man. Don't unban me because no one's there to get. When's Jay's coming to Summer Jam? I'm sorry? When's Jay-Z coming When's to Jay Summer Jam? coming back? It's been a long time. When's Jay-Z coming back anywhere? We waiting for him to come a lot of places. I want him to come on the show. No hey, brunch, no lunch, no dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out here, man. It's hot out here. You gonna see him no Remember that interview at Hot 97? Maybe he knows a few things or waiting for something to be uncovered, which is why he's teasing that. I don't know. But I think there definitely is a conversation about Jay-Z and Diddy that everybody's been having and that perhaps if this is true that could argue why Beyonce is coming out with multiple brands, you know, month after month or every two months after uh, every two months, you know, when it comes to this conversation and thinking well, you know, what do I do? Um, let me come up with my own stuff, build my own lane properly. Because one thing about Beyonce is that she has been um, solidified as somebody who is with him and under him and he helped her massively and kind of relies on him to an extent. They have that kind of not just love relationship, but 
very much a business relationship more than anything to be honest with you so you know if this could affect the business one might have to cut so i don't know how truth this is but this is the first i've seen on anything in regards to beyonce being terrified or worried about what is going on which would make sense anybody would be but jay-z and jennifer lopez have strong ties to p diddy there's there's you can't dispute that um especially jay-z so that is who we should question most Maybe she is scared. Maybe she is terrified. I don't know. I don't know what you guys make of this. I don't know what you guys make of this. Again, reports are saying that Jennifer Lopez is scared and that she's saving face after Sean Diddy links resurface. A source is stating that Jennifer knows everyone is asking what she knew about Diddy and it's clear she's on the run from answering it. Not on the run. Her links to him resurface are a PR disaster for her and damaging her own health. It's adding to her already massive stress level as she goes through her divorce with Affleck. But sooner or later, she's going to have to sit down and say what she knew, which I don't think she will. One thing about Jayla, no matter what she's going through, she never looks like she's going through it. Because my girl had a failed album, a failed tour, a divorce, and now you're being questioned everywhere about Diddy and a massive PR disaster. Like, it's just really been such a bad year for Jennifer Lopez. The last two years, to be honest with you, have not been good years for this woman. The fact that she had to cancel her tour because it was not selling, but you did your Super Bowl with Shakira and her tour had to be moved from wherever it was to huge stadiums because of the massive demand is a huge kick in the face to her. So I don't think she's had a great year. I just don't think it's like her album flopped or her single flopped. Everything has just gone left for her, to be honest with you, from whatever is left. And so this is the last thing that she needs is Diddy on her mind or being questioned. And we know that she's being questioned on the inside, let alone on the outside, which is why she's running away. Now, Diddy's jail commissary from halal meals to dairy delights, healthy picks and $88 MP3 player. The disgrace mogul, the jail meals have been revealed in regards to what you can get and for what prices and you can spend up to $200 per month at, at the commissary with a cap of 160 per shopping visit and this facility has held R. Kelly and Ghislaine the cheapest item is a envelope at 25 cents then you have a SanDisk mp3 player which is $88 which is the most expensive and you can be adding songs to the mp3 player which was which is one dollar each and they must go through a pre-approval process wow that is crazy that is crazy so you know this list of what diddy must be having who went from a billionaire to 200 dollars a month is insane which is obviously why another reason why this man wants to get out because not only is he being able to eat maggot infested food or living in bad conditions but also the what you can get is very limited and that list of stuff has definitely come out today in a new report so i wanted to just add that as a quick topic to this video do subscribe to the channel comment down below give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it let me know what your thoughts are today is a big day for diddy i wanted to remind you guys november 4th three-way judge panel are going to find out what's going to happen when the court hearing takes place when the documents come out i will be giving you guys a quick rundown of everything on this channel so stay tuned because today is going to be a very busy day for this conversation comment down below give this video a thumbs up let me know what your thoughts are on this madness and i'll catch you guys soon for another video